We'd like to present an overview of our research titled Travel Demand Prediction with Application to Community Demand Estimation on Urban Railways. Uh, accurate survey demand prediction is essential for smart city planning and efficient transportation management. It helps city planners and transportation operators make informed decisions about infrastructure investments, such as where to build new roads, stations, or public transit routes. By understanding how people are likely to move around the city, Planners can optimize resources and improve urban mobility. With the growing use of smart care systems, we now have valuable data on people's movements and behaviors. So in our research, we aim to understand how new facilities impact travel demand in the surrounding areas. Now, we focus specifically on what happens when new railway stations open. Uh, this figure shows the traffic demand distribution for different stations, with currently representing the most popular station in each area. As you can see, uh, traffic demand is not evenly spread out. It's a complex spatial pattern. Uh, trying to run the relationships between stations and the zip codes to predict future demand is not an easy problem. So our challenge is successfully to run relationships between stations and the zip codes for demand prediction. Uh, to address this problem, we propose a simple but powerful supervised learning method that captures the relationships between residential areas and facility locations. Uh, we represent these relationships and the competitive advantages of one facility over another as vectors. Allowing our method to be easily integrated into various supervised learning techniques. Uh, running the relationship between spatial demand before uh, facility opens allows travel demand to be estimated after a new facility opens. Uh, we tested our method by conducting experiments on railway stations and comparing its performance with existing approaches. Our experiments demonstrated our method improves prediction accuracy both quantitatively and qualitatively. Uh, 